We founded Arrhenia based on the premise that there was a substantial level of lupus expertise residing in Victoria from the Legacy Espriva work on Cellcept. This included a high level of disease area knowledge, rich opinion leader networks, and an unprecedented lupus nephritis data set in the form of the Espriva Lupus Management Study. Lupus, or SLE, is a devastating, uncommon autoimmune disease that affects the entire body and is of unknown etiology. In over 50% of cases, causes inflammation of the kidney, also known as lupus nephritis, or LN. If inadequately treated, this can lead to kidney failure, requiring dialysis, or even transplantation, and no drugs are approved for the treatment of LN in the US, Europe, or Canada. We began our search for an ideal molecule to develop that could potentially get approval for lupus nephritis. That candidate is voxasporin, a highly differentiated calcium inhibitor which suppresses cellular immunity, appears to prevent further damage to key cells in the kidney, and without some of the potentially serious side effects that we see with legacy calcium inhibitors. Arrhenia has the right science, the right clinical development, and the right business skills necessary for us to develop voxasporin in the right indication with an eye for successful NDA. What Orinia did in collaboration with researchers from all over the world was to successfully execute a phase two study known as the Aura-LV study. And this was one of the largest trials ever done in the field. We had a wonderful year receiving the data uh, for the Aura-LV study in lupus nephritis. It was so motivating to have that kind of data generated and the excitement around being able to actually make a difference for these patients. Second after that was uh, realizing with good phase two data we needed to fund a phase three program, being able to raise all the capital we require to run our phase three program right through to filing. And our hope is that results from the ongoing Aurora phase three trial will help Voclosporin become the first approved drug in this disease in North America and Europe. And that would potentially be a huge benefit for patients whose treatment options are currently quite limited. And probably the other thing this year was uh, receiving recognition from the Lupus Foundation of America, where we received the, uh, the Visionary Leadership Award for the company. And that meant a great deal to, uh, to our entire team here.